Hi everyone and welcome back to Nant. excited because today is the first vlog in which I will be able to show you a little bit of the city. I mean, I know you kind of already saw Nantes in my Thanksgiving video, you saw one of the supermarkets, you saw some of the streets from the car, but this is the first time I'll actually be able to show you the Nantes that people come here to see. I'm going to show you some of the downtown area, you'll get to see one of the parks. I'm going to talk to you all about the footage you just saw in a minute, but first, I thought I would update you on where France is with the coronavirus. So as you may or may not know, France has been under a tight lockdown for a couple of weeks now, but at the beginning of the month, President Macron announced that some of these restrictions would either be lifted or lightened. And one of the things that we can now do is we can now go shopping for whatever we want. No longer do we need to go out for just essential items. We can go out and buy whatever we would like. And I confess that I was a tad happy to hear this because up until that point, I hadn't done any Christmas shopping for my family yet. I had been hoping to get them something that was, you know, special to Nantes. As soon as we were allowed to go out shopping again, I went downtown. I went to this store called La Friande, which is basically, it's like a boutique for all of the Nantes specialties. So for example, you can buy cookies, you can buy candy, spreads, crackers, pretzels. And then afterwards, I walked to the Passage Pompe, which is kind of like a shopping mall, except it's small and it's a lot more open. It was in between these two locations that I filmed most of what you just saw. So I passed the cathedral, I passed the Tour de Bretagne, you also saw the Passage itself. So that was really nice. It was nice to be able to you know, get something for my family that's special to Nantes and also just to get out of the house a little bit. But Christmas gifts were not the only thing that I took care of this month. Mathieu and I also got our Christmas tree, as you can see behind me. I'm going to show you all a clip of us putting it up, but I'll tell you, this is not our first Christmas together, but it is our first Christmas living together. And so of course we wanted it to be special. We wanted to have a tree with some decorations. So we went to a store that's not too far away from our house, and it was a pretty big store. It's not quite the size of Target, but it's definitely getting up there. And literally half the store was dedicated to Christmas. Christmas decorations, Christmas trees, Christmas gift wrap, anything Christmas you could probably find in this store. And it was funny because each aisle kind of had a different theme. So there was an aisle with a snow theme, an aisle with a Disney theme. There was even an aisle with a plant theme, if you can believe that. And so we picked out our tree and then we just went through the different aisles and we picked out ornaments that we liked. And then later that afternoon, we set it up. Otherwise, in addition to being able to shop more freely, we can also spend more time outdoors. So before we were only allowed to be outside for one hour per day and we had to be within one kilometer of our house. Now, however, we can be outside for three hours per day and we can go as far as 20 kilometers from our house. And so on one of my days off, I decided to take advantage of this. I went down to the Jardin des Plantes, which is probably Nantes' most famous park. And I did a little walking around and then I also walked again downtown to the center area. So I'm going to show you a few clips of that and stay tuned for the end for a little special surprise.
saw there is actually a castle here in Nantes. That is the Chateau des Ducs de Bretagne. And I confess that I don't know that much about it because we haven't had a chance to visit it. But as soon as things are a little bit better with the world, we will visit it and then I will be able to, you know, share with you all the castle's history. But while I was down there, I saw a little table with a bunch of pamphlets like this one on it. There was a sign that said, Servez-vous, so help yourself. And so I picked this one. You can see that there's a little Lou biscuit on it, which is another not specialty. And I don't know if this map is more useful or more cute, but either way, I really like it. It's entirely in English. And if you open it, you'll find, um, well, first of all, you'll, you'll find a map of the city. That's helpful. And not only that, they've marked on the map all of the city's hotspots. So I don't know how well you can see, but there are little symbols. There are shopping symbols, uh, boulangerie symbols, but then also there's a description for each symbol. Like there's a paragraph of information for each hotspot that they've marked. And this is, I think this is going to be really useful when the pandemic is over because this will give Matthew and me an idea of, you know, what there is and not worth seeing, or at least it's a good start, right? And then there's even also practical info such as where you can rent bikes, where the tourist office is. There's five minutes of history. Otherwise, while I was downtown, I also passed another store called Agent Paper, also in English. And it just looked so cute that a few days later, I brought Matsu back with me and I have to show you guys what we bought from this store. So we bought this little panda. Well, when we bought the panda, it wasn't put together yet. We just bought the paper for the panda. I'm going to show you all a clip of us putting it together. But while I do that, I, I just want to tell you all a story. So when we first arrived in Nantes, we stayed in an Airbnb for about three weeks. And in this Airbnb, there was a gigantic paper panda. Like, it looked exactly like the one I'm holding, except it was the same size as me. And we thought this was the coolest thing. We had no idea where this paper panda came from. We just thought it was cute. And so when we went to Paper Agent over the weekend and we saw a baby one, well, of course we had to get one for our own apartment. So... The instructions classified the panda's construction as easy, and I wouldn't say it was easy. It wasn't hard either. The thing was, it just took a little bit of time. I think we spent probably about two and a half hours just constructing this panda, but it was totally worth it because we really enjoyed doing it, and it is so cute, and it makes an excellent addition to our living room. And we also got a sloth because both of us really like sloths. This one is classified as medium. So I have no idea how long this is going to take us. And when we're done, we'll be able to hang it on the wall, which is cool. I don't know if I'll film us making this because if it is indeed harder than the panda, then I don't know. The instructions were both in French and in English. And all I have to say is, thank God I speak French because whoever did the English translation needs to go back to school because they obviously used Google Translate to do it. It was a horrific translation. Like I read it and not even I understood what was happening. So praise be that I speak French because otherwise putting together the panda would have been next to impossible. They also gave us this paper bag, which I don't know, I saw it and I immediately saw a project. So I've started coloring it. This is what I do when I watch uh, Dash and Lily on Netflix. If you haven't watched this series, I recommend it. It's pretty cute. <laughs> but yeah, I think that even in light of the global pandemic, Christmas is definitely managing to keep me busy this year. My parents asked me the last time I talked to them on the phone what my plans were for the winter holiday. And were the circumstances any different, I think I would either go to Paris to photograph the Christmas decorations or to Strasbourg to visit the Christmas markets again. Obviously, neither of those trips are happening this year, but that's okay, the cities aren't going anywhere and it's definitely best to play it safe. I will say though that if you love Christmas, France is a great place to be because the country gets so festive in December. Like you will find Christmas decorations lining every street. There are so many tasty foods to try. Like I said, if the circumstances were any different, there would be Christmas markets all throughout the country. The one thing I haven't noticed though are Christmas carols. I have not heard too many Christmas tunes while I've been out shopping. 
But France really is a winter wonderland, and I feel incredibly thankful to be here to see it this year, even in light of everything happening. But however you guys are celebrating the holidays this year, I hope that you all stay safe. I hope that you all have a wonderful time, whether you're celebrating alone or with loved ones. I wish you all a most joyous holiday season. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, please do let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I think I will wrap the video up here. A bientôt alors. A bientôt alors. Until next time, guys. Bye.